The U.S. Navy test fired a standard missile SM-6 missile from a containerized launch system aboard a literal combat ship LCS. The service didn't identify the system, but it seemed to be the MK-70 payload delivery system. USS Savannah LCS-28 conducted a live fire demonstration October 24 in the eastern Pacific Ocean utilizing a containerized launching system that fired an SM-6 missile at a designated target, the service said. The exercise demonstrated the modularity and lethality of littoral combat ships and the ability to successfully integrate a containerized weapons system to engage a surface target. The exercise will inform continued testing, evaluation and integration of containerized weapons systems on afloat platforms. The Lockheed Martin launcher is based on the MK-41 Vertical Launch System VLS, installed on the Navy's guided missile warships. It comprises four MK-41 VLS cells in a 12-meter container. The MK-70 can launch a range of long-range anti-ship and anti-air weapons, such as the SM-6 and a Tomahawk land attack missile, with a range of 150 miles and 1,200 miles. The launcher is part of the U.S. military's effort to field a ground-launch long-range precision missile capability following the expiration of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. The treaty prohibited signatories from possessing all ground-launched crews and ballistic missiles with ranges of between 500 and 5,500 kilometers. Sea-based and air-delivered missiles were not covered in the treaty. The U.S. Army recently conducted the first test launch of a Tomahawk missile from the mid-range capability system, which is a variant of the MK-70.